The visitor website uses an advanced inquiry form which I'm going to demonstrate to you. To arrive on the inquiry form there are a number of routes one can take. The first is going to the contact us page and then selecting inquiries in the left submenu. We arrive at the contact inquiry form. Another route is to go to Weddings and then select Wedding Inquiries and we arrive at the same form except this time it's been called Weddings Inquiry form and the subject has already been pre-populated with Weddings. If we go to Business Events and do the same thing and the form has been customised for business events. If we go to golf, then again the form has been customised for golf. If a visitor clicks on a form without having entered any information, then the Ajax validation will return a message. In this case it's telling me that I need to put my name in. now telling me I need an email address. If I don't put a valid email address in, a message will come back telling me that the email address is not valid. I will now put a valid structured email address in. And now I am prompted to put a message in. I'm not prompted for the mobile number because that is not a required field. I'm now prompted to put in the text that matches the image on the right. I'm assuming I get this correct. Great stuff. The form has been submitted and I am taken to a confirmation page which thanks me personally for the inquiry and informs me that a representative will be in touch shortly. Now when that form was submitted two things happened. Uh, the content of that form was forwarded on by email to the golf club and sent to up to three email addresses at the golf club. Also an inquiry record was created in the backend database which can be viewed via the administration system. So if I go back to the splash page and I log into admin Right, I'm now successfully logged into the admin area and you will see here that I'm immediately prompted with a message in red text to say there are two live messages to process. If I click the little go link next to that then I have the messages listed here. Uh, now I've got two options here. I can delete the message or I can select the message clicking the little pencil icon to say that I have looked at the message effectively and it's been dealt with. So let's say with this second one it's spam and it's of no real interest I'm just going to delete it. So that's now deleted. This message here is a genuine inquiry which I've dealt with and I've responded back to the person concerned. So I'm going to take this out of live messages by clicking this icon. Up here um, on the website menu there is an option for live messages which we're looking at at the moment and old messages. So that message that I just clicked uh, to, to archive now appears in here. 
and if I go back to the home page you'll see that the prompt for live messages has uh, disappeared. Okay so that is a, a quick demonstration of the visitors inquiry form and how you can manage uh, inquiries that come via it through the admin system.